Okay, let's do it again now. It's a nice, nice start, that. You know, people assume that because we interview artists all the time that we are good friends with them all, and that's not necessarily the case. But in my case, Paul McCartney and I became good friends after a holiday that we inadvertently chose together back in the mid-1970s. It was Kenny Everett who told us about this place called Peter Island, which is secluded, white beaches, the whole bit. The most beautiful postcard that could ever come to life came to life for us. We were walking along this deserted beach one day when suddenly there was a, like a golf cart behind us going, beep, 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 get out of the way, get out of the way. Look, it's Kid Jensen, it's Kid Jensen. I turned around and there was Paul McCartney and Linda sitting in the front seats and uh, James, his son, and Mary was there and Stella was there. And we ended up sharing a holiday that lasted about 10 days, going out, eating lots of vegetarian stuff and, uh, and having a great time. Linda was particularly welcoming. And uh, we just had a great holiday. And uh, so subsequently, I've seen Paul McCartney a few times, and he's granted interviews, or interviews rather, with me that uh, he has denied other presenters. So I'm really lucky that it, it happened the way it did. And I remain a big fan. I'm particularly keen on Paul McCartney's early solo material, so maybe we should play something from that now.